America, please listen. His name was Dr. Bernard Nathanson. He co-founded NARAL Pro-Choice America, and he trained Planned Parenthood's doctors on how to kill unborn children. He became known as America's abortion king. But that's not the end of his story. During a rare interview of Dr. Nathanson, when he was 83 years old and terminally ill, I asked him if he had a parting message for America. And he said, yes, continue teaching the strategy of how I deceived America with this lie that abortion is women's health care. He said, tell America to love one another. Abortion is not love. Stop the killing. The world needs more love. America, that comes from the father of America's industry of abortion. But Dr. Nathanson had become pro-life and a Christ follower who repented for his crimes against humanity. That's right, give it up to the Lord. America's abortion king became a Christ follower. And his courageous story can crush the abortion industry and lead millions, millions of broken people to Jesus Christ. Well, Chuck Colson on one of his radio shows back in 1996 said this. He said, this week I saw fresh and powerful evidence that the Savior born 2,000 years ago in a stable continues to transform the world. I was invited to a baptism in a chapel of St. Patrick's Cathedral. The candidate for baptism was none other than Bernard Nathanson, a man who had presided over some 75,000 abortions, including the abortion of his own child. I watched as Dr. Nathanson walked to the altar. What a moment, just like the first century, a Jewish convert coming forward in the catacombs to meet Jesus Christ. It was a sight that burned into my consciousness because just above Cardinal O'Connor was a cross. And I looked up at that cross and I realized that what the gospel teaches is true in Christ is the victory. He has overcome the world, and the gates of hell cannot prevail against his church. And this is the way the abortion war will be won through Jesus Christ changing hearts one by one. No amount of political force, government, laws, or no army of Planned Parenthood workers can ever stop that. And it is the one thing that is absolutely invincible that a simple baptism held without fanfare in the basement of a great cathedral is a reminder that a holy baby born in a stable 20 centuries ago defies the wisdom of man. Christ cannot be defeated. Boom.